I picked up this arcade one-up Street Fighter 2 machine from Facebook Marketplace for £50. Here's the listing. It says, unsure if it actually works, comes with plug, but wires may need redoing £50. Now, I messaged them and they subsequently said that they've plugged it in and the screen comes up black. And sure enough, I've tested it. It's all plugged in now. It's plugged in there. There's the power pack. And when you switch it on, you get a little pop from the speaker. And nothing appears on the screen. It doesn't make any sounds. Let's see if you can hear the... See if you can hear? Listen for the pop. It's very quiet, but... Anyway, let's crack it open and let's see what's wrong with it. Maybe. No idea how I'm going to film this. Let's take the back off. Yeah, we don't have long, so we gotta whiz through this. Thank everyone, and let's wrap it real quick. Lee Benz is arcade, one up is slick. Sigma 4, better test the power brick. Tim Al's smoked bird, what could it be? Gotta find out. Free your TV. Dr. Princess Wizard, what a machine. Looks so cool, Anthony Dean. Adam Taylor, I need to get this working. Badger Squatch, what fault is lurking? The support hero, I'm gonna make a fuss. Tell it comes alive, cool we jiggers. Everyone say hi to Hemi 84. First at the HH, cheaper with there's more. Friends keep friends, Kaka Bird, Terra Perry, Mackie, McAdams. Fish, Alice Margatroyd, Kill Switch, Esther and Keegan, Infinity. Whenever you're in the vicinity of the land of the rising sun, yo, say hello to the Monkey Joe Tokyo. Peace. I've already tested the power supply and it is 12 volts, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything upstairs because it's impossible to film in here, as you can see. I'm going to take out this box because that's where the power adapter goes in. It's also where the screen connector is. See what's inside there. Take it upstairs and we'll double check that it's getting voltage and see if we can figure out what's going on. Uh, I could probably do with taking the screen with me, but I don't know if that's possible. Uh, maybe. Alright, well I think for the time being I'm just going to take the screen and the little box thing upstairs. Sorry, that was a complete nightmare. Be back in a minute. Oh, wow. It looks like I did have to take the screen with me. Oh no, it's under a screw. So we've got a black wire here underneath that screw. So I'm just going to disconnect. Right, I better take a picture of that. I've left my phone downstairs. Let's get the power adapter, plug it into this. Oh, I've left the power adapter downstairs. Right, this power adapter is in two parts. So this is like an extension. So let's plug it in there and let's just double check we're getting the 12 volts at this end here. Multimeter in voltage DC. And let's check it. Yep, 12.26 volts. I'm gonna take this board out of here. It'll be easier. Well, let's plug the voltage into the board. Well, let's make sure we're getting it at those pins there. Yes, we are. 12.26. Alright, then where does it go? Let's get this under the microscope. It'll be easier to see. Alright, so the power's going in there. Then where does it go? Alright, our fuse. Let's check the fuse. Multimeter and continuity. Fuse is good. So then where does it go after that? Goes into this little voltage regulator thing here. Why is the top of that capacitor shorting to this? Is that normal? Oh, we've got short. Right, we've got shorts. We've got shorts on the power rail, I think. Take the plug out. Is it still shorted? No. So maybe it is something to do with the power supply. So when the power supply's in, this is shorted to ground. Let me see if I've got a different 12 volt power supply. All right, I do have another one here. This is, I think this is the one I got with that pure uh, Jongo thing. 12 volt, two amp. And? I mean, that's 12 volt, three amp, but 
Let's try it. Black probe on ground? No. No, we do not. So is it as simple as that? Got a dodgy power supply. But it was outputting the correct voltage. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd tried that before taking the thing apart because it was an absolute nightmare to take apart. And if it just simply works with a new adapter, I'm going to be very upset. But let's take this downstairs, put it back together and see if it works with the other adapter. And learn my lesson for next time. All right, here goes. Apologies for the terrible lighting once again. Get the same noise. No. No. So it wasn't that. I'm gonna bring the thermal cam down. See if anything's getting hot on that board. All right, you're not really gonna see this, but I'll take a picture. All right, let's switch it on. Got some heat coming from the main CPU and something 32 degrees, 33.4. So I think it was here. Oh, does that coil look a bit burnt? It does, doesn't it? I think this is where the heat was coming from, but it looked like it was these here, but they're not capacitors, are they? Let's see if there's any shorts in that area. We've got continuity through this coil. Yeah, I mean that, that to me looks like that's got hot and burnt. But we do still have continuity through it. All right, let's just plug the power back in. All right, we're back to that again. We're, we're beeping the top of the capacitor. So this is all ground again. So why did it, Oh, it's doing that thing where my multimeter is staying on. I had this before. Someone said change the batteries, so I'm going to do that just in case this is giving me faulty readings. Right, we've got brand new batteries in it now. Are we still getting the same down here? Yeah, let's just switch it to ohms. Zero. Dead zero. Right, let's unplug it. Still the same. Take the jack out. Gone. Right, I'm very confused. Why, why is it now not doing it? I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this. Because I... Uh, how am I supposed to... If it's only doing it some of the time, how am I... How? 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 And yet it never turns on. It's ne I've tried it probably 10, 20 times, well, more than that probably, and it's never turned on. So it's not like it's an intermittent fault. The fault is always there, but this is just giving me the run around. It's trolling me. And, th and now it's back. Now it's back. Right, now it's not there. Right, I got it out. It wasn't actually that bad. Right, so I can now, let's leave that on the on position and let's plug in this cable. Okay, so it should now think that it's coming on, shouldn't it? Obviously we've not got the screen connected. But let's just see if that short is there on this scenario. No. Why not? Do something consistent. Alright, well, let's get the thermal cam on it and see if that area is getting hot again. You might be able to see it this time. Yeah, still getting hot in the same place. Let's just double check that it is that coil. So it's, it's actually in two places. It's there which is the coil, but it's also there, which is that little voltage regulator. Let's have a look at it down here. Right, I wonder if we've now got voltage coming out of that little voltage regulator that we didn't have before. 12 volts there, 
12 volts there. So what voltage have we got up here where it's getting really hot? One and a half. One and a half. Nothing. Three. 0.6 Did you hear that? I don't think that was good. I think my probe slipped and I touched something I shouldn't have done. Yeah, okay. What? How? How? So I, I must have shorted something there. I think that's on now. Let's move the stick around, see if we can hear noises. No. Mm, maybe not. We definitely started the uh, boot sequence, didn't it? Okay, there we go. Switch it off, I bet it doesn't come back on. Right, we're off. Is it going to come back on? If it does, I have no idea what I did. It's not going to come back on. Right. Well, let's see if I can replicate it. So, I had my black probe on ground, and I touched, I think it was this capacitor, which you're probably not going to see very well. Wait a minute, I bet we've got the short back now, haven't we? No. Right, well, I can't, I can't replicate it. Oh! It's definitely either the capacitor or one of the legs on this little IC. Here we go again! Loud, isn't it? So is it that little IC that's not doing what it's supposed to be doing? I mean, let's see if I can measure it now. We'll see if we've got the same voltages that we had on it a minute ago. So there are... Oh, see, I'm, Yeah, 4.9. I think I've just reset it again. Uh, yeah, there's currently no voltage coming out of that. And there's 4.9 going into it. So let's see if I can... Get it to come back on again. So we've now got 0.6 there. Yeah, there we go. So quick before it turns off. 1.5. 2.9. Right, they weren't there until... Or were they? I think they were there before, weren't they? But they weren't there just then. So... Is that IC faulty? It's just not, or is it not being told to turn on by this chip? Questions, questions. That I do not have answers, answers to. Yeah, can turn it down. It's still quite loud. Right, let's see if anything's on, getting hot on this board now. Right, we've got a chip up here getting hot that wasn't before. Am I going to get copyrighted for this? I better turn that down completely on there. Don't want another copyright strike. Right? Fight! Right, yeah, we've got this chip getting hot, which it wasn't before. These two are still hot. They're as hot as they were before. 56? I mean, that seems very hot, doesn't it? Right, because we had the damaged coil there, and that's where the heat was, and that's where I was messing around and it came on, let's get this back under the microscope and have a closer look at that area. I don't, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to know what that chip is. You never know. And a coil, I presume I can take off, I don't know, a Nintendo Switch or something. <laughs> it's obviously got hot, but it still has continuity through it, but, I mean, if I can replace it, I would. What does that say? Abam? Don't think that's going to come up with anything, but let's Google it. No. Let's not find anything. I might just try reflowing that area, just in case we've got a dodgy connection somewhere. I don't think so, but it's worth a try. 
while I'm at it I'm going to take that coil off I think. I'm guessing it's the same coil as that 2R2. If I can find a replacement I'm going to replace that. Got some coils on this. I mean, it's a Nintendo Switch. I mean, I don't know what the coils are. Coils are coil. <laughs> I know it. I know it's not. But it's worth a try. It's not working as it is. Well, yeah, it's not working. It it comes on, but I obviously can't do that every time I want to play it. Let's take this coil off here first. Uh, reflow this area and take that dodgy coil off. I mean, it's much smaller. This is only temporary, by the way. I just want to see if it makes any difference. It's possible that older one is absolutely fine. Right. Let's try that. Okay, here we go. I get the same pop from the speaker. Oh, I turned the sound off, didn't I? I'm not going to know if I turn the sound off. Right, there we go. No way. Is that just because it's hot? No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that it was the coil, because I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Try one more time. Wow. Right, I'm going to let this cool down. Because it may, it may be because it's hot that it's doing that. I'll let it cool down, give it 10 minutes, and then we'll try again. <laughs> no way is it that. Right, it's nice and cool now. Let's plug it back in. Get the same pop from the speaker. No <laughs> way. Right, I'm going to connect the screen up. Let's see if we get a display. If this does work, can someone please explain to me how? Could it have been the coil? I can't see why, because we still have continuity through it. Was it the reflow? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Odd. I've got the screen. I've got no idea how I'm going to do this. Well, let's... Sugar. Right, I'm going to ground this as it was. I think that should be all it needs. Right, power. Is everything in? Yes, it is. Right, let's go. Oh, I put the I put it in the wrong way around. Put it in back to front. Right now, power. Come on. Come on. Oh my lord. There it is. There it is. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, still flabbergasted. Right, I'm going to take this downstairs and I'll put it all back together. I won't film that because it's a nightmare filming downstairs and you can't see anything anyway. So. Next time you see this, it'll be back together, and let's just pray that it still works. But I am going to need someone to explain this to me. Thank you. Alright, there we go. There's my Pac-Man one that I mentioned earlier. This is the Street Fighter one. I've put it fully back together now. I've given it a clean. It's come up really nice. Is it going to come on, though? Let's find out. Here we go. 
makes the pop. Come on. Yes, it still comes on. As I mentioned before, I'm going to need someone to explain what's happened there because I don't, I don't understand. I'm thinking it's the coil, but I don't know. I don't understand how it would do that. But anyway, if you can let me know, thanks. Oh, and another thing is the coil that I put in going to be okay? I took it off a Nintendo Switch, and I, I don't know whether it's going to be okay or not. So if you can let me know that, thanks. Right, how many games has this got? Three. Let's just do the regular one. Nice. Got to be Gale. These are very clicky. Oh, what? Haha. <laughs> well, how do I come out of this? Like that. Awesome. Stupid arcade machine that I'm very, very happy with. Body damage, no sweat, we'll fix it quick. Statistics fix with the electrical mix. With tools in our hands and knowledge in our brains, we'll bring your tech back from the digital graves. Statistics fix, we'll fix it right. Yeah. Where the eagle eye, troubleshooting night.